Ah, oh, see, Mexicans are everywhere. They're everywhere. They camouflaged in the crowd. I didn't even see them. I thought you were just a white chick from questionable parentage, but you're a Mexican. <laughs> you know they want to keep your people out by building a wall? They should have white people build the wall. That idea would last about 20 minutes. <laughs> white people are like, gee, it's hot as out here. I'm not going home. Let them in. You're not going to stop Mexicans from getting in this. Did you see that tunnel they dug from San Diego to Tijuana? You could drive a truck in that thing and it had lights. It had lights. That determination. Somebody was smuggling some dope and was like, I'm not putting this in my ass. Julio, get a shovel. And call your cousin. We're putting some lights in this bitch. There's probably a tunnel from Mexico City to Canada with little kids running through it going, chicle, chicle, chicle. And churro sticks for sale and a donkey show halfway. And the La Quinta Inn for you to sleep at when you get tired. I'm gonna stop, Mexican. This is not your TV, dude. I can hear you, all right? This is live. Shut up. <laughs> This is why I guess it's good to be high. Because then you can filter out that kind of stuff. See, this is good, though, because it's the only job where a black guy can come to work high and it can be cool with everybody. You can't go to your job Monday morning at Bank of America, come in there stoned and tell the branch manager, I'm high as shit. Let's start cashing some checks in this bitch. But first, take a couple bucks out my drawer and get me a McGriddle. I got the munchies. <laughs> He's stomping his feet. The joke is good, not that good. Don't have a heart attack, brother. All right, I got to go. The red light's on. All right, I'll shush. I've been very entertaining for the last six minutes. Thank you, that's very nice.